just to let people lose their home in times of crisis there are kings and kings fall let them rock i don't know that our chatters make a difference man that is some horrible freaking server the chat should be a whole separate server Okay, we're back. Can you hear us? Are you on remote? Yeah. See us. Yeah. Audience, call in here. We got a rally going right down here at City Hall. Park via police Violently. brutality. Right, we're gonna march some more. We're on the move. Yeah, so I mean, there's a good 500 people. Um, we just got pushed out of the park. We moved down to City Hall. Sounds like people kind of want to take the streets, maybe march around. I know that the plan, if we get pushed out of this location, was to go to Fifth and Pine at the Bank of America building. Um, it's been quite a night. I took a few lumps. First Amendment took a few lumps, but we're both still standing. We're both still here. So, uh, all I can say is, you know, this is the only way to get defended is by citizens standing up for their rights. The, the military is not here defending their citizens. What are we going to do? Stand up for your rights, man. Time to stand up. We have a few hundred people down here, right? At least. And they're spread out so far. Um, I don't on know. that note of uh, calling, um, I got knocked down pretty hard, and then when I got back up, I was hit three times in succession. Police stopped hitting me because I was doing what they told me to do. Yeah. Um, grab any clubs or resist arrest or, or anything. It was just pure police brutality. I saw person to a wall, I saw a nose get broken, um, and I actually did grab clubs three times on my behalf, but a police officer was jabbing other people, I kept grabbing his club, that shit sideways, and he didn't need to be jabbing people. Yeah. It's best to, it's best to deflect them when they, when they stab in the Deflected, hard way. Yeah. You fucking use some of that ninja shit yeah, and just yeah. deflect. Yeah, I do, but yeah, I got, I got hit a couple of times, that's... Yeah, if you guys heard the, uh, the really about uh, this wasn't the America he was born in, and uh, how do you sleep at night, what do you tell your kids, yada yada, behind Sam earlier, that was definitely me, I was definitely very angry. <laughs> Tons of people down here taking video. We have uh, the media coalitions down there. Mike, who got thrown into the wall head first, who didn't get arrested somehow, so that's super cool. Yeah. Hey there, can you hear me? A lot of the Ustreams are down right now. Um, I'm right. going to save mine until. Okay. It's all peaceful out down. here now. Uh, uh, KMT is all peaceful dead. out here at the park, Sam. I know, uh, I know Carrie's down here and she's got a huge stream of uh, But yeah, we, uh, once earlier a lot of bad were dead, so we can probably use some more streamers down here if you guys can, uh, rouse yourselves and get down here. I know the, uh, the audio is super choppy, it's because of the, the building here, it's just a big giant chunk of cement video. Plus the more people we have here using their cell phones, the more we're competing for air. It's nature of the beast. Thanks on the mark, it's glad to know you're out there.
What's up, Vancouver? Yeah, there's at least 300 people down here right now, if not more like four or 500. Cops are across the street. That's what I heard. Oh, we, we're, I take it we're going um, yeah, I don't know. I heard this riot police down here somewhere. There's the riot police right uh, there. KMM has it. There's the riot Why should we take everybody away from City Hall? This would be the perfect place for them to fuck with us. I was just going to film. That's all I'm doing. All right. I don't know that guy either. No idea. From the KGW HD studios, no, the this news is just gonna fall into News the Channel 8 at 10 starts Whatever. now on Northwest 32 TV. We have the authority to close a park at any time of day. And so at this point, the park is now closed. Police move in, pushing to occupy protesters back as they yes, try the to gain a foothold in another Portland park. Protesters moved into the South Park blocks around 5 p.m. No, Police then no, closed the park just after 8.30. They report a number of arrests as they tried to clear the streets. Good evening, I'm Abby Gable. Following breaking news, as these Occupy protesters have been clashing with police for more than an hour. And just in the last few minutes, the group took their march to City Hall. Let's start with News Channel 8's Jacqueline Sid, who follows the protesters as they march Portland through downtown. There's one thing Portland represents about Occupy correctly. It's that we're not and going anywhere! At Southwest Park, it's actually clear now. It's very peaceful. You can send police at us all day, every day. We're still going to be here. But just in the last hour, protesters got into a heated Face off with police. Take a look at the video. When police arrested several protesters within the last 90 minutes, we saw at least six protesters arrested when they refused to leave South Park blocks. Some have campers left, but for those who didn't, police moved in around 8:30, cleared out the park, took down the tents, and told them to move out. Now this actually all started with a very peaceful march. Salmon Street Springs through downtown around 3:30 this morning. This afternoon. Rather, 400 protesters took to the streets and delayed traffic on the way for a short time as shoppers stopped to watch. Now, when the protesters got out here to the park, they set up their tents, had an impromptu concert, and the evening was peaceful for the most part. That's until now, Abby. And as you mentioned, they have left this park after they were cleared out from police, and they have marched on over to City Hall. Back to you. Jack, we're live in downtown Portland for us. Thank you so much. Joining me on the phone now is Portland Police Sergeant Pete. Simpson. He's our media information officer. He was one of the first ones on the scene. Thanks for joining us, Sergeant Simpson. Can you hear me? Great. So let's first off talk about how many people have you arrested? Well, I can't give you an exact number yet. It's been multiple arrests. They're being processed right now. Uh, it looked to be, you know, more than six people from the uh, South Park blocks. Okay, at least six people. When did you first put police in place? We had officers there earlier today uh, when the folks went into the park and set up structures and along with park rangers from the Parks Bureau let folks know that they can't set up uh, structures in the parks. They were met with uh, some pretty aggressive verbal resistance from people to the point where they forced our officers and the park rangers out of the park this afternoon. Uh, so then we went to the plan to remove folks from the park and began that operation about 8.35, 8.40 tonight. And you had said that you, as a police officer, have every right to shut down a park at any time. When did you dis why and when did you decide to shut it at 8.30? Well, the Parks Bureau, along with the Police Bureau, talked about it after the, the incident this afternoon where the folks were forcing uh, us out of the park and, and not making it safe for police officers. So the Parks Bureau ultimately made the decision. We supported that decision. Um, the, late this afternoon and then brought in resources to deal with uh, the crowd of folks. You said they were forcing you out. What were they doing that would have made you feel so unsafe? Well, again, very, uh, very aggressive verbal uh, resistance, if you will, um, not uh, wanting to comply with uh, direction of, you know, you can't put up structures in the park. I mean, certainly we encourage people to use our parks and, and, and demonstrate in them, but 
abide by the rules. And based on that behavior, the officers uh, withdrew from the park based on uh, their concerns that it was going to become a physical confrontation from folks in the parks. And um, the park rangers felt the same way, and, and we hope to get more information about that out uh, as soon as we can get it. Right, Sergeant Simpson, one second. I just want to tell our viewers that this larger picture on the left-hand side is live pictures right now of City Hall. That's where those protesters now <laughs> forced from the South Parks have moved to. And we can see that one of them has actually gone on to the second story of the City Hall. So, Sergeant Simpson, are you frustrated by these protesters who are continuing to disobey a number of these laws? Well, the frustration is that, you know, we, we absolutely support First Amendment rights and we support demonstrations when they're peaceful and lawful, but we can't stand by and support lawless behavior, uh, in, including violating park rules and blocking streets that affect, you know, everybody in the city. We work for, you know, 600,000 people are our bosses, and we have to be responded to everybody's concerns, and we hope that everyone would see that in these groups, but there's a segment of these marches that uh, looks for and decides to have confrontations with police as a means to um, demonstrate and um, you know it's becoming a, a bit of an issue tonight. And last question, what happens from here? Are you going to push these people from City Hall? I mean, what's the next step? Well, we will uh, evaluate each uh, situation based on uh, the numbers of people that are there and our resources available. Uh, we'll give clear commands and directions on where people need to go uh, or where they cannot be and hope for compliance. And certainly, uh, uh, we've got a lot of officers out here right now, and we are following marchers around downtown, and uh, it's hard to say what this is going to play out to look like. Okay. Sergeant Pete Simpson, our media information officer, thanks for joining us this evening. Stay safe. And just in the last half hour, the group took their march to City Hall. Like we said, News Channel 8's Catherine Cook followed them there. She joins us live. Catherine, what's the mood like right now out there? Want to go back up? Abby, the mood is pretty festive. In fact, just a few minutes ago, we saw two demonstrators Hey, you want to come back up? All the way up to the top. And yeah. this, they actually managed to shimmy up with a tent. Yeah. 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 We had about 200 oh protesters, and um, we had about 200 protesters out here at its height. But now they've started to, to head home. It sounds like uh, they're calling it a night, except for these guys. They plan to stay here all night. I'll be back to you. Catherine, please stay safe out there. We appreciate you covering it for us. Thank you. And let's remind you of the milestones of Occupy Portland. It began nearly two months ago on October 6th. October 31st, filmmaker and activist Michael Moore brought national attention to the group by addressing Occupy Portland. Then November 10th, Portland Mayor Sam Adams issues an eviction notice with three days later, police clearing out the parks and installing fences around them. And stay with News Channel 8 for continuing coverage of tonight's Occupy events. Of course, we're going to have much more tonight, News Channel 8 11. And if more happens, we'll break in later on in the show. And new 10 at 10 tonight, Vancouver police are on the lookout for three whole...